Well, 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 welcome back to another episode of the Catamore Diaries. I'm your host, Captain Bernie Man FM, and I welcome you to this VVV Venlo Long Term Football Manager 20 save. We are now in season number two. And my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, if you were here for the last episode, you would have seen us pull off the miracle of being Inter Milan in our Europa League matchup. Well, today is the day that we play our final game in the group stages for the Europa League. And we're going to be bringing you just the one game and one game only. And it is going to be against Real Sociedad. We've got them at home today. We're sitting in second. In fact, I'm going to show you the league table straight away and show you some of the possible outcomes. So as you can see, Inter Milan are already done and dusted. They are through. Even by losing to us, that was the only game that they went and lost in the whole campaign for the Europa League. We are currently in the driving seat. Sporting Lisbon can't do anything. They're out. They're done. It's just down to us and Real Sociedad. If we can pull off a draw today, we're through. We just can't lose. If we lose... We're out. They're on 10 points. We finish on 9. Well, let me show you how we've been getting on in the league and the other games and how we got on against those guys. So, so as you can see, we have played quite a lot of games since that massive match against Inter Milan. And the next game after that was a cup match against NEC. Yes, we went and we beat them. They're from the league below. But I wanted to buy an half-decent team, so I went for it. I went for it. I went more than half decent. I went pretty much full strength and we won by five goals to two. Five different goal scorers in the game. Farai, Brewster, Yeboah, Nyodeka and Dean Gara getting on the score sheet. That was followed up though by a 1-0 defeat in the league to title rivals Ajax. And it was a Kane Fitz Jim. I'm not sure if that's a real player. But yeah, he got the goal in the 86th minute and we didn't play well in this game. We didn't deserve to get anything out of it. As you can see, some of our players there, 6.5, 6 points freeze. It was disappointing. Then we went into November and it was another defeat, but this time it was at the home of Inter Milan at the San Siro. And it was a 2-1 defeat at that. We did go 1-0 up through Vignato. And I thought, hang on, is this actually happening? But no, a penalty in the 49th minute and then a goal by Chiesa in the 52nd put us to bed. We nearly got back into the game late on, but it just wasn't to be. But then we were back to the league and that defeat to Inter Milan, as we did play very well in that game against Inter Milan, it spared us on to a 6-0 thrashing of go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I don't know why I'm singing that, but there you go. Riyad Booster double with Dian Gana, Nyodeka double and a Juan Agudelo getting on the score sheet and giving us the three points. And then we had our second home game in a row, and this time it was against Hercules Amelo. And again, another 2 0 professional performance from us. Dean Garrett and Brewster getting on the score sheet. Those two guys are absolutely running the show. And then it just came down to this. This is the reason why we're in this position right now a 4 2 victory over Sporting Lisbon in Lisbon. That is monumental stuff. That is heroic stuff. That is legendary state stuff. Riyad Brewster getting a hat-trick away from home. Vic and Nato, they absolutely battered us in this game. They really did. But we still walked away with the points. And it puts us in this great position for this match today. So we're back to the league and an away game tie against FC20 who are down in the doldrums this season. Not having the best season at all. They're either bottom or second from bottom. We finished this game with nine men. Yes, Kick Perry and Rosler both getting sent off. And we scored in the 87th minute when we had 10 men. And we held on with 9 men. It was a Farai goal that got us back into the game. And like I said, Dean Gana getting the winner and get us the three points. The performance of the season, the lads had to dig in deep. And as we hit December, we played in our derby game against Fortuna Citad. And it was a 4-1 victory to that and an absolute beauty. The only downside to this game is that Ria Brewster did get injured and he won't be playing today. Brewster got us off to a perfect start. They got a goal back, but then goals in the 59th, 75th and the 78th from Van Hoyden, Diengana and Vignato gave us the three points and the bragging rights in the derby. And then we've just had one of the games of the season once again against FC Untracht. And remember last season, these beat us 6-0 at our place. It was an embarrassment. Well, this time, we got one back on them. They went 1-0 up after four minutes. We equalised after five minutes through Agudelo. They got back in front on the ninth minute, only for Yeboa and Dian Gara to put us 3-2 up. On the 83rd minute, they got it back to 3-3. And it was in the 90th minute that Grady Dian Gara once again stole the headlines and got the winner in the 90th minute. Mwah. Fantastic stuff. 
But that leads us on to today's game. I was going to bring you the Europa League game and a league game, but I think just go straight for the Europa League game today and then we will come back in a month's time to come and play some of the big boys in January. And like I said, today is the biggest match. It's the most crucial one we've had all season. Do we proceed into the knockout stages of the Europa League or are we going to go and fail against Real Sociedad and fall at, not the first hurdle, but fall with pride. That's what I would say, fall with pride. But let's do it. Let's get straight onto the action. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But before we do that, let's just have a quick look at the league. So as you can see, just looking at the player stats, Dean Ganner is the top goals goal with Brewster, both on 10 goals each. Dean Ganner, best player in the league. And Manuel Ferran, I'm not sure if you can see me even by my head, behind my head, I'm trying to say. But he's on six assists, so we're doing really well. And as you can see, just uh, over here, we are still one game behind everybody else in the league. We are now only five points off the top of the table. There's a lot of teams battling it out. As you can see, Ajax are in six, but only six points off Feyenoord, who are top of the table. So a big, big title race is on the horizon for us against some of these other teams as well. And we're all beating one another. So that's, this is it's going to be some second half of the season. Let me just tell you that for free. Right, this is it. Let's do it. Come on. We're in excellent form. As you've seen on the schedule I've just been showing you, we haven't lost a game for quite a while now. So things are looking rather rosy for us in the garden. They're in consistent form in the league. So all i got to say is just go out. Go out, play your bloody hearts out, lads, and we can come home with a victory. So this is the team of heroes we've decided we're going to go with today. So it's Del Ferraro in goal, Valentini, Shaws, Armini, and Perry at left back. Then we've got Alberto with Ferrari, Njodeka, Vignato on the right-hand side, just in front of Diangana. Diangana could be my secret ingredient to put in the second half, Yeboah. And Xerxi is going to start up front today because Ria Brewster is still injured do want to actually show you Rhea Brewster just one second because Brewster has decided to stay with us for another season after this one as well. So in next year, he's going to play for us once again because the guy absolutely loves us. He loves me. I'm part of his favourite personnel and his favourite clubs are VVVV Venlo. That is a major thing for us. It really, really is. The reason why I'm saying it, it's a major thing is that Rhea Brewster is going to get amazing on this game and if we can get to the Champions League and he doesn't get game time for Liverpool we could just sign him that's all I'm saying we could just get him look at that media media description what a kid love it unfortunately we haven't got him today so let's just crack on and see if we can get the win without him just have a look at some of their players and the first one that does jump out actually there's two in there that do jump out the first one is Martin Odegaard yes the former wonder kid that once went to Real Madrid once upon a time an absolute wonder kid on Football Manager. Also, Yanazai, another wonder kid that actually failed at uh, Manchester United. Did score an absolute beauty against England in the World Cup last year. And they've got Nacho Monreal at left back as well. So, a team full of players that we're used to. I'm sure some of these players didn't play in the game away at Sociedad. They did beat us by two goals to one. It was a very close game. And I, I'm going to go out on a whim here. I'm going to say that I am confident that we can get a result today. I am going to say what I always say to our team talks. I'm going to say, I'm not going to say that we owe them revenge. I'm going to say with the underdogs here, go and give the fans something to cheer and they absolutely love it. Today is the day that Joshua Xerxes gets off the goal scoring charts for us because he's done absolutely nothing since he's been on loan to us since the middle of last season. Come on then, let's go and do it. Let's go and absolutely beat him today. I haven't said anything, I've just realised I've got faith in you. There you go. <laughs> now go out and do your best, lads. Good luck. 15 minutes gone, and there's not been a single highlight so far in this game. We have taken, well, commanding shots, but not many on target. We've had five altogether, but no, not many. Here comes Yanez, I know. He's switched over to the left-hand side as well, which is not much. You don't see that much in this game. It comes Odegaard. Martin Odegaard has put three hours Sociedad in front, and we are now behind... And we're also out of the qualifying positions for the knockout stages of the Europa League, which is a bit of a bummer, I'm not going to lie. Edera by Scholes, but then Odegaard caught it on the bounce and it flies into that bottom corner. And that's the quality that he possesses. There is a highlight, though, for us. 24 minutes on the clock and here comes Alberto. Alberto to Xerxes. Back to Alberto. He puts the ball into the box. There's the Yubo is not there. He does 
bustle his way in there though and and I'm not quite sure what I was trying to say bustle his way through there he puts the ball into the box and it is headed over by Xerxes and I say that again and there's another highlight and here comes Alberto running the play a little bit here Alberto puts it in there it's headed away by their central defender Neodeco picks it up for right to Xerxes and it's an, a big miss but he was offside anyway we're now I like good law here and Yannan's eye flicks it on it's Marino Scholes does really well. He picks it up. Gives it to Vignato. Vignato now. Over the top to Xerxes. He's got another chance. This time he's got to score. Ugh, and he doesn't score. And I've got a feeling that he's going to... Uh, this is... Lo losing Brewster. It's it's massive. It's absolutely massive. And then they add the ball over the top of the bar as well. 37 minutes on the clock. And it's Sochi there that's got the ball here. They've only had that one shot on target. And it's flown into the back of the net. I have noticed that. But here they come down. Playing it nice and calmly. Passing it around. And I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. Puts the ball into the box for William Jose. But then we do clear it. And it's Xerxes now. But he's all on his own. Big tackle from the central defender once again. And Sochi Dad will set off. And start once again. They're playing it nicely in the middle of the field. And Odegaard has made that run through the middle. It's a massive chance. And it's 2-0. And it's Xerxes that lost the ball again. Running into no man's land. And he's not having the best game. He's supposed to be a Dutch under-20 international. On loan from Bayern Munich. And he's having an absolute shocker. At the top end of the field. And we might be getting him off at half time. To get on Agudelo. If I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm, I can't believe what's going off. And this is not good. We're going to have to pull it around in the second half. After having such an amazing run of form, this is always what happens. We have an amazing run of form when I'm offline, and then when I press the record button, we absolutely turn into an absolute pile of dog do. Anyway, half time it is. I'm going to have to make a few changes here. Uh, I'm going to hand it over to Luke Nillis, who says it's been disappointing in that first half. I... I'm already going to make the change. I just don't think that he's he's got the confidence to get the goals up front for us. So we're going to go with Agadello straight away and he's going to come on up top. And we're also going to get John Yeboah off. I'm going to get Dean Ganner on on the left-hand side. In fact, we're going to put him on the right side. We're going to go put Vigan Nato. Vig, why am I calling him Vigan Nato? His name is Vig Nato on this left-hand side. And we're going to go for it. A double substitution. See if he can switch a few things up. See if he can make a difference for the second half. And here we go. And if we are going to get back into this game, we're going to have to score... Very, very early on, because so far this has been a very anti-climax episode where we haven't really done much at all. 55 minutes on the clock. I'm just looking at some of my players out there. Farai's on a 6.5, Valentini's on a 6.4, and on a yellow card as well. And that's where we might make the change next. Here comes Monreal, though. Puts the ball into the box. He's headed and headed over the bar. So we're going to make the change. Valentini's going to come off, and Decker's going to come on. Who's been Valentini's been one of our top performers this season, but he's on a yellow and on 6.4 and having a bit of a stinker out there up against Yanazai. So Decker will come on it and he'll be a like for like change and just get a bit of encouragement on there. We've got to try and get a goal soon, but we've got to try and start doing something this second half. They have taken full control. And saying that, we've got a highlight straight away and it comes Agadello to Perry. Perry puts the ball into the box. He's headed away, but it's a poor one at that. And Dean Gana to Farai. It just goes for a bit of a snapshot. And it bounces off a couple of players. We've got to win that header. We don't. We, that's the thing today. We've not won. They frustrated us. And here comes Yanazai. And that's game over. Over, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, So, it's been a very, very lackluster performance from us. I'm not going to lie. I think the pressure has got to the players. And we have not turned up. Definitely not turned out. We do need Riyad Brewster. I'm telling you now, ladies and gentlemen, he, this second season, he has been quite something special. There's not much I can say to the lads, if I'm going to be completely honest with you now. 20 minutes to go, and I just don't see where we're going to try and get back into this game. We've taken a bit of a battering. It's going to take a bit of a dint into our confidence going into the league game next. And, yeah, again, I just don't see where we're going to come back anywhere in this game. In fact, I'd just like this highlight to finish. When we do collapse, we collapse. I'm not going to lie. And Odegaard, who I didn't slate before the game, but I, I kind of said that he was um, an FM wonder kid flop or wannabe or could have been or a disappointment. Has only got to score a bloody hat trick today, hasn't he? Yeah, whack that one in from 20 yards. 
I think we just need to get this game over and done with, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? Because this, this ain't good. This ain't good at all. Um, Perry, can he get the ball into the box? Nyodek puts it in there. I wish we'd just blow up. I'm not even interested. <laughs> really not. I wish we'd just... The referee, do you just want to just like finish this game? Dean Gannon now is going to try and get some confidence back in. He hits it. The ball flies up in the air. And it goes over the top of the bar. Decker's going to try and go, and he does. It comes Shaw's now. Decker, can he put the ball over the top? Should do. But he normally does. He brings it forward, though. And it's just a terrible decision to make that pass. That was an awful pass. And that's the difference today. Just not being there. Not being at the races against this team. Yodeka over the top. And here comes Agadello. It's Agadello. Oh, and he's smashed against the defender's legs. Dean Ganna. It's Dean Ganna trying to run through him. Agadello has a, has a shot. And Agadello makes, makes me laugh. Ah, Agadello, Dello, Dello. Another highlight. Six, four minutes to go. Six, four. Four minutes to go. And are we going to pull some pride back here? Here comes Vignato. Big chance. I think we could play till Christmas and I don't think this would would make a difference, would it? If you're watching this on Christmas Day, then we're not. I mean, that's the only time that that reference could be slandered because the other times of the year, it's a long time till Christmas and we could play till then and we still wouldn't score. I mean, you can prove me wrong, lads. You really can. Here comes Dean Gannon. Can he put the ball into the box? He's falling about. Here comes Farai. Can he put the ball in there? Fignato puts it in and we have scored. A Merry Christmas to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it is four goals to one and at least we kept battling that's all i'm going to say because in other episodes we've taken a bit of a battering when we've when, when our heads have lost and when we've gone with the team has gone properly gone but not this one four one and i think the game will end it with that as well time is starting to tick away now we're into stoppage time only seconds remaining uh unless they score straight from this I think the ball will probably go out and then there will be no time left. 20 seconds to go. Is there going to be time? I think the game is just playing itself out here. 10 seconds to go. And here comes Vignato. Don't think he'll do much here. Dean Ganna, the referee is going to probably blow as soon as he gets the ball. He goes for the strike, goes over the bar and the referee does blow. And our Europa League, it, Europa League dream, shall I say, is over and out for one. So should your dad go through with Inter Milan and we finish third. I am going to have to go with Luke Nellis and say that I'm disappointed because they were there for the taking today and we just didn't turn up. I think that headline sums up how I'm feeling. I feel like we just blew it then. I think we really did. So, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed in that one. If I'm, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Very, very, very disappointed. Right, because this episode was just a quick one fixture episode and it was a Europa League special, what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to come back for the crunch game. This is the reason why I've done this one, because we've got a game coming up in only two fixtures time against Feyenoord. That's right, Feyenoord are sitting top of the table this season. We've beaten them in the past. They've beaten us in the past. So I think we've got a massive chance of doing one over them yeah, I really do. We've got a game coming up against Wilhelm too. Then we've got PSV in the third round of the Dutch Cup. And then it's the big one against Feyenoord. Because we're so close to them, we can get a victory here. And this is not one of our gaming hands either. So if we can get a victory here, then we're going to get closer to the top of that table. Now we're out the Europa League. I don't give a monkeys about the Cup, if I'm going to be honest with you. I'd like to do a Cup run again, but... If I lose to PSV, it won't be the end of the world. The big thing for me is to get into this title challenge. And um, with this run of form that we've just had, as you can see just above us there, there's a lot of greens. We've just done a fantastic little run in the league. And I think and I'm hoping that we can continue that form in the league. Get a win against Wilhelm 2 and then we're on to the final game in the league. And that's the one I'm going to bring you. So I'm going to be back very, very shortly for that one. But so... I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I have. If you have, give it a like, give it a thumbs up and share amongst family and friends on social media or any form of platform that you like to share your stuff on. I would much, be much appreciated of that. I'd like to give a massive thanks to the guys over at passion for fm for supporting my videos for Football Manager 2020. Go and check those guys out. If you don't know where to look, go into the description below. 
and check all the links there. Click on them, join, check it out, watch, subscribe, do everything that you want to do to be part of Passion for FM. We would love you to be part of our Football Manager community. If you want to keep up to date with all the stuff that I'm doing, then follow me at Captain Benny Man FM on Twitter. But also, more importantly, please go and subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications and watch my videos if you love Football Manager content because I'm doing some fantastic things at the moment. Not only this Catamold Diaries series, I'm also just brought out my mini series for Liverpool Beat Pep. I'm really, really enjoying that mini save as well as the beta save as well, which performed fantastically, which was the a royal appointment save, the Aston Villa mini save, which we did one season to keep them in the league under Prince William. You're going to love it. Go and check them out. Go and share and go and tell people about what I'm up to. I just want to thank everyone who have been watching my videos recently, but also to all the new visitors, subscribers and followers. I really, really do appreciate it. I love you guys. Well, I'll be back in a couple of days' time for another episode of the Catamol Diaries. Bye-bye.